po lahat kayo dyan ay mayroon na pong uh, installer. So kung sino po pa, pa yung mga walang installer na nandyan, yung installer po natin ay madadownload ninyo sa OER installer na nasa inyong screen ngayon. Okay? So hopefully naka-download na po kayo para magsa-start na po tayo ng installations. So mamayang hapon po, uh, doon na po tayo mag-discuss. Ngayong umaga, we will going to finish the installations lang muna. And uh, advice ko lang po, kasi medyo mahaba-habang topic po itong akin, is uh, pakiprepare na lang yung inyong mga exam dyan. Kaya yung mga images ninyo, yung mga videos ninyo, at saka yung mga emoji ninyo for feedback. Pakiprepare na rin po. Okay? Okay. So, mag-start po tayo ng installations. Ang installation, ang i-install po natin dito is a Wondershare Quiz Creator. Okay? So, ang Wondershare Quiz Creator, hide ko muna yung aking, uh, you know, ang Wondershare Quiz Creator. So, Wondershare Quiz Creator applications. Ito yung po yung binubuksan ko ngayon. So, just double click it. Okay? Ito double click lang ninyo. Pwede nyong i-right click and... Uh, Run as administrator or just double click the applications. Okay. Next, click yes. Okay. After clicking yes, course click next. Okay. Then you have to accept the agreement. Agreement and click next. After that, so next lang po tayo ng next. Bawal po tayo yung magno dito. <laughs> Kasi pag mag tayo, hindi tayo makaka-install. Okay? So, sa inyo siguro, walang ganitong error na nag appear Kasi sa akin po na say, nag-ganito nag kasi nga, naka-install na ako. So, um, i-yes ko lang po ito. Then, i-click uh, ko yung create. Create a desktop icon and create a quick launch icon. Then, after that, click next and Click install. So, yan po. nag install na tayo. And click finish. Now, sa inyo pong desktop, may nag-appear po dyan na Wondershare Quiz Creator. So, pwede nyo i-double click po yan. Click yes. Yan. So, Ang gagamitin po natin ngayon, so under process pa po yung purchasing ng license ng Wondershare Quiz Creator. So ang gagamitin po natin for now is the free trial. So remember po, yung free trial natin, mayroon po tayong 30 days. So nakikita nyo naman dyan siguro, mayroon tayong 30 days trial trial na period. Okay, so sa tapos na po tayo naka-install. So for now, we will going to create a new quiz. Okay. So, new quiz po. Of course, click the create a new quiz. So, create a new quiz. Yan po yung lalabas na interface niya. Now, sa so setup po tayo, first thing is, gagawa po tayo ng quiz. Sa quiz properties po tayo na tab. Okay? Quiz properties. Okay? So, dito... After clicking the quiz properties, so quiz title. So para uniform po tayo, ano po ba yung topic na gusto ninyong gagawa ng quiz? Okay? So for example, ang topic ko is network hardware. Okay? Gawa lang kama tayong network hardware to. <laughs> network hardware. Okay? So for example, kung ang topic nyo naman is subject verb agreement, so pwede nyo ilagay dyan yung subject verb agreement. Okay? Network hardware. Or network. Network. No. Okay. Next. Now dito, pwede nyong itype yung inyong general instruction. Okay. So general instruction. Ano ba yung magandang general instruction dito? Pwede kong buksan yung dati kong ano muna. Sandali. Ito yung output ko kasi. Okay. 
Yan. Cheating ba to? Hindi naman siguro. <laughs> okay, so yung aking output. Okay, so yung title ko po is Network Hardware Quiz 1. Okay, so general instruction. So itype po natin sa ating general instruction. So kung may mga prepared na po kayo na quiz dyan, na may general instructions naman, pwede nyo i-copy-paste po dito. Hindi naman po tayo nag... Uh, uh, hindi naman tayo nag na uh, hindi naman po siya stricto na bawal yung copy paste. Pwede niyo pong, 'di ba, mayroon tam, tayong copy, hard copy ng uh, tawag dito ng exam natin or soft copy ng ating mga summative exams or summative assessment or formative assessment. Pwede niyo pwede po nating gamitin 'yon. Okay, so for example, nandiyan na. So general direction, read the question carefully and choose the answer. Uh, choose the answer in each questions. Now, so dito na side, pwede po kayong mag um, lalagay. Ito po yung customization side dito. Okay? Sige. So, before that, balik po tayo dito sa edit informations. Yan. Sa edit informations. So, sa edit informations po, pwede nyo pong ilagay dyan yung inyong pangalan as an author para ma malaman ng mga bata na kayong gumawa ng inyong exam. Then, email ad, kung may email kayo. So, for example, ilagay ko dyan yung aking email, maryjoy.vilasco at deped.cob.ph Then, sa company, ano bang ilalagay natin sa company? Of course, Ang company po natin is ang ating what? Ang name ng ating school. So ang lagay nilagay ko diyan is ang name ng school ko it's Rotonda National High School. So department po, ilagay natin sa department yung ating divisions kung saan tayo na belong the division. So ang division po is for example sa akin na division is Coronadal City Division. Okay. Coronadal City Divisions. Now, sa descriptions, para uniform po tayo sa descriptions, ilalagay po natin sa descriptions yung uh, ano po tayo, anong subject ba to? Okay, yung tinuturo po nating subject. So, kasi kanina, dyan sa title, dun sa title po, is nilagay natin yung topic mismo, pero hindi natin nilagay yung subject. So, ilagay natin yung subject. So, for example, uh, CSS, NC2. For example, CSS NC2. Yun yung topic or under, yung quiz na ito ay under sa CSS NC2 po. Okay? Kung may website naman po yung inyong school, pwede nyo pong ilagay dyan sa website. Okay? May tanong po ba tayo? Wala. Of course, wag natin kalimutan yung ating pangmalakasang picture. Diba? Uh -oh. Pwede nyo ating lagay ang pictures natin. So, browse. Saan lang ito yung pictures ko na pang malakasan? So, kung wala naman kayong pictures dyan, ilagay nyo na lang. Pwede nyo ilagay yung inyong, uh, ilagay yung inyong um, logo ng inyong school. Okay? So, kung tapos na po tayo sa pag-personalize ng ating uh, quiz, click natin yung okay. Andyan na po yan. Next. Okay, so dito sa add, you can add the what? You can add the text. Okay. So pwede kang mag-add ng text dito. So try natin. Maririnig niyo po ba? Play. General direction. Read the question carefully and choose the correct answer in each question. Yes. So, yan yung general di direction. So, pwede kang magbasa, pwede ipabasa mo sa kanya at, or pwede rin ikaw mismo ang magbasa. So, kagaya ng boses ko ngayon na medyo, you know, kinakabahan, parang ayaw ko nang magbasa. Pero subukan ko pa rin. Tama? Subukan ko pa rin. So, add. And then, kung gusto mong ikaw mismo ang magbasa, lalo na sa yung mga teacher na sa Filipino teacher, um, Yung mga uh, araling palipunan teacher po, pwede niyo pong kayo mismo magbasa. Okay? Sige. Ako magbasa. 
Magre-record po ako. General direction. Read the question carefully and choose the correct answer in each question. Okay? Then replay. General direction. Read the question carefully and choose the correct answer in each question. Okay, pwede nyong i-loop. Okay, pwede nyong i-loop. Ilang, kahit ilang gusto ninyo, di ba? Itong maganda dito, guys, kasi nga, pwede nyong i-loop kahit 10 times. Yung directions ninyo. Okay? So, siya nang bahalang magpaulit-ulit dyan. So, for example, i-loop natin ng 2 times. Okay? Now, may, may tanong pa dito. So, Lalaki kanina kasi yung bumasa. So what if, kasi babae ako, dapat gusto ko yung babae din na boses. So pwede kang mag-click in advance setting at piliin mo si Zara. Okay? After that, ipabasa mo ulit sa kanya. Ano? Pabasa mo ulit sa kanya. Play. General direction. Read the question carefully and choose the correct answer in each question. Yan. So, babae na po. Okay. Kung lalaki, of course, lalaki din yung ano. So, depende din naman. So, at least dito sa advanced setting, makaka-choose ka kung gusto mong babae yung boses o lalaki yung boses. So, pag okay na po yung ating general directions, okay, pwede po tayong mag-add ng images. Okay. Pwede po tayong mag-remove or mag-captures ng videos. Tama? So dito, pwede kang mag-add ng video clips. Ang video clips po dito, maximum po dito yung 30 minutes. Okay? So maximum. Of so nabasa na po, napabasa na po natin yung ating general directions kanina. So okay na po yun. Um, sa browse po, naka-upload na rin tayo. Naka-upload, nakalagay na rin tayo ng video. Next po is the capture screen. On the capture screen, so, sito it lang po na, na may naka-open na. Okay? So, for example, ika-capture mo po yung uh, remove. Ika-capture mo po yung galing sa um, yung uh, folder mismo. Yung images mismo. Okay. Mag-open lang ako dito ng images sa resources. For example, background. So, naka-open na. So, for example, ganito yung image na gusto mo. So, pwede ka rin mag-open. Pwede mo pong i-open ito sa internet. Open mo na muna. Saka ka maglagay ng, mag-click ng capture screen. So, capture screen. Then, you have to drag. Drag mo lang po. Kung anong area lang yung gusto mong ilagay doon. I-capture, of course. Okay, after that, automatic, nandiyan na po siya sa ating media. Okay? So, hopefully, nakuha po ninyo lahat. Sige po. So, as is po tayo. Okay. Next po is, we will going to proceed sa click quiz setting to change the passing rate. Okay? Quiz setting na po tayo. Okay? Change the passing rate. Now, pag mag-change po tayo ng passing rate, it's either depende po to sa teacher kung anong gusto niyang passing rate ng bata. So, kung gusto niyang dapat makuha ng bata 75% ng score, na score bago sa makapasa, so, depende po yun sa teacher. Pero I suggest, nasa 50% po tayo dito para hindi naman po tayo ganun kabutal. Tama? <laughs> okay. Next po, you have to enable the time limit. And then, Sige po, dito muna, dito sa quiz setting, uh, mayroon po dito uh, clarification. Actually, mga magagaling, po to, mag magagaling po talaga yung mga kaguruan natin. Tama po. Of course, wala nang question doon. Okay? Magiging teacher ba yan sila kung hindi yan sila magaling? Pero dito na side, uh, wag, yung dito sa answer submissions, pwedeng uh, as is na po muna yung ating setting dyan. Wag na po muna natin pakialaman. Okay? So, ang setting is submit one question in a, at a time. I say, for the sake lang po muna ito ng ating uh, webinar. Submit all at once. Kasi submit all at once, bagay po ito sa mga summative assessment. Okay? Show correct answer after each submissions. Allow yung uh, 
naka-check lang dapat diyan is submit uh, submit one question at a time show correct answer after submission allow user to review questions and answers prompt to resume quiz to start, uh, quiz uh prompt to resume on quiz start okay so yun lang dapat yung naka-check diyan so default po yun na setting next Dito po, sa options ng time limit, yan. Okay. So, if you click this area, you can set the specific number of minutes per question. Okay. So, yun, ito, ya, ito ay yung kabuuan na side na kabuuan. So, for example, dapat matatapos ng bata yung inyong quiz at 10 minutes. So, kabuuan po yun. Next, we have the set the time limit for each question. Pwede nyo rin pong maset dyan. Okay? So, kung gusto nyo lang pong i-check. Okay? So, pwede nyo pong i-set. So, as of now, ay dito lang po tayo sa kabuuan ng quiz. Next po. Okay? So, next we have the Quiz result. Okay. So, next po tayo is a quiz result. Okay. Lahat po ba tayo nasa quiz result na? So, in the quiz result, okay, type the feedback message. You can, cost, of course, you can also customize the feedback message. Okay. So, pwede, mayroon kasi yan default. Congratulations, you pass. Diba? Mayroon default dyan. Okay. Then, mayroon din namang Pwede nyo namang i-customize yun. Now, in customizations na area, pwede nyo pong gamitin yung mga uh, bold. Okay? So, for example, yan. I-bold nyo po yung text. Pwede nyo pong i-underline yung text. Pwede kayong mag-add ng pictures kagaya ng ginawa ko. Nag-add ako ng mga emoji para at least mas interactive po siya. So, for example, mag-add. Okay? Paano po siya mag-add ng emoji, ma'am? Okay? Delete ko muna. By default po, mayroon kasi siyang, ah, uh, yan. By default po, mayroon kasi yan siyang, sorry. Okay. You failed. Ganun. Sasaan niya na po ako, ha? Okay. So, feedback po tayo. So, kami may, may mga resources kami dyan. So, pwede kang feedback emoji. So, for example, pa pasa siya or pumasa siya. So, correct. So, good job. So, yan. Next, ah, hindi, hindi po siya pumasa. So, image na lang ilagay ninyo. At least you try. Diba? Parang, uh, ano lang, positive. Positive pa rin. Okay? So, yun. Now, pwede nyo namang i... Um, Pwede kayong mag-add ng audio dyan. Pwede kayong mag-add ng audio. Add tayo ng audio. Congratulations. Kasi babasahin niya eh. Congratulations, you passed. Walang kama. Okay, bye-bye. Advance. Click advance. Zara. Then ipabasa mo ulit. Congratulations, you put past. Next. Same po dito, ganun din. Sorry, you failed. Sorry, you failed. Yan. So, pag okay na po, na-customize na po natin yan. 
Again, pwede nyo pong i-change pala, nakalimutan ko lang. Pwede nyo i-change yung font style, okay, font size. For example, change natin yung font style or font size sa 20. Dito din, kasi medyo maliit para at least medyo malaki-laki size natin sa 20. So, pwede po yun. Or feedback team. Tama ba ko? Okay, next. Sa pinakababa po, don't forget na i-click po natin yung display quiz stat statistics on the result page. Okay? Display quiz statistics on the result page. Okay? So, after that, pag nakaset na po tayo lahat, click okay lang po. Next po is the question setting. Okay, sa question. question setting po tayo. Okay, so in the question setting, positive points, okay, and the positive points po, ilang points po ba per, uh, per correct response ang ibibigay ninyo? Is it 2 points each? 3 points each? ba? Okay, in general po to sa setting. So, for example, 1. Then, Pwede po tayong mag-change ng font style and font size by general. So, nandiyan na rin po. Okay? Okay. So, dito po yung ginamin ko. Okay? Properties or question properties. And the question properties po, uh, pwede po kayong mag uh, one point per correct response. Next. Sa font style po, dito niyo babaguhin yung font style ng ating questions. So, for example, lalagay natin... If um, yung ating uh, suggested na font style is uh, Century Gothic. Okay, Century Gothic. Tapos, yung ating uh, fonts, font size is 20. So, hayaan na po natin. Avoid po yung medyo makulay na color. Next, for the answer, same po. So, hanapin po natin yung Century Gothic font size is 20. Okay, so positive response nga po, we have the uh, one point each. So take note lang po, yung ating, uh, if you prefer to shuffle the choices in a multiple choice type and activity, click the shuffle. Now kung gusto niya pong ishuffle naman, ayan. Kung gusto niya ishuffle, of course po, pag maglagay po tayo, wag na kayo maglagay ng A, B, C, and D. Kung gusto nyo namang ishuffle, kasi magpa-follow po yun. Okay? So, kung gusto nyo pong uh, ishuffle yung mga choices nila, so, uh, click nyo po yung shuffle. Then, customize the feedback. Okay? So, dito tayo. Hopefully, nakafollow po kayo ha. Kung gusto nyo ishuffle, sila dalawa, okay? Okay? Shuffle ninyo yung correct, uh, positive answer, shuffle the answers, shuffle the questions. Okay? Yun. Next. Kung gusto nyo, again, i gusto nyo rin i-customize yung ating feedback. Okay? So, per, okay, per quest, uh, per, tag dito, feedback for, for questions. Okay, so for example, ganoon din po, uh, ulitin natin yung process kanina. Kung gusto nyo kayo magbasa, pwede din. Okay. Add tayo ng images. Yan. Okay, add tayo ng images ulit dito. Incorrect. Yan. Okay na po. Next po, sa others po tayo. Okay, others. Now, dito po, sa no protections, okay, when you click others, you will be able to uh, to 
protect and protections to your activity. Next po tayo is the player's template style. Okay? So, ito po yung naka-magnify ko lang. Yan. Yung player template. Yan. Yan po yung player template natin. So, dito sa player's template, choose from the built-in templates. So, mayroon tayong built-in templates na nandito. So, yan. So, pipiliin po natin yung, uh, for example, pipiliin natin yung, um, yan, training 03 template. Training 03 template po. Pipiliin po natin yan. Pero kung gusto nyo naman ng ibang uh, template, pwede din naman po. Ay, pwede nyo pong i-customize to yung inyong uh, dito yung inyong template. Now paano po 'yun? Pwede niyo pong i-change yung background ng inyong template na nandiyan. Pero yung pinili ko, select training 03 'yon. Okay? Pwede niyo pong i-change yung background. Pwede niyo rin pong okay, change the background para baka magkamali ako ng color para hindi na hindi na harmonious yung color na pipiliin ko. <laughs> Okay. Next. Pwede kayong mag-change ng or mag uh, maglagay ng picture po. Change the opacity. Okay, parang masadong uh... Oh, yan. Gusto niyo i-change yung opacity, pwede din po and more. Okay. Okay, so dito na side naman, you can uh, click the panel, toolbar, highlight if you prefer changes the template, color. Okay, kung gusto nyong i, ano yung template color, pwede. Okay, next, roll papers and roll corners, kung gusto ninyo. Okay, so yan po yung advantages, so yung nasa gilid, upper right. Pag i-click mo po yung wallpaper, yan. Pag ayaw nyo naman, yan. Kung gusto nyo rounded, rounded, no, sorry. Rounded, yan. Okay. So, kung gusto nyo naman, Yan. So, click the layout to adjust the primary features of the module template. You can check or uncheck the field. Okay. Module template. Yan. Then, after that, pag okay na po, layout. Yan. So, click to make updates with the template setting. Okay. So, kung gusto ninyong, uh, uh, kay dito po, uh, add ko lang, pwede kayong mag, yung images, pwede ninyong ipa-right align or left align. Pag may image kayo dyan, ganyan. Pwede ninyong baguhin. Okay. Also, kung ayaw nyo ng one column, pwede ninyong two columns po yung inyong choices. ba? So, So, yan po yung makikita ninyo sa layout. Layout po yun ng template. So, pwedeng left align yung images or right align the images or the columns of the choices is one column or two column po. Okay? Then, after that, balik po tayo sa template. Then, pag okay na po tayo sa layout ng template, save and close po. Nakaprepare na po ba yung ating uh, mga questions dyan? Okay, mauuna po tayo sa questions ng multiple choice. Ay, multiple choice. True or false po. True or false po. So, pwede po tayo mag-right click. New questions. Yan. Laki no. 20. 
Gothic Century 20 kasi yung size natin eh. Yan. Now, mag enter po tayo ng question dito. Ito na yung interface po. Ito po yung uh, itsura. This is the itsura of uh, the two or four question. <laughs> Sige po. Sige. So, that, may nakahanda na pong questions dyan. So, for example, yung akin is, pwede kayong i-copy-paste nyo na lang. Sige po. Yan. Tama ba? Ay, hindi ko nakapi lang. Yan. Okay. Create a hub. A hub creates an extended network. Ganon. Turbanes. Ek, ek. Next, dito na side. Sa baba. Na-paste ko na kasi yung tanong. Automatic na po yan. The font style and the font size nandun na po. Tapos po, sa baba po na side, ano bang tapat? Ano bang tama ba yan siya or mali? For example, the answer, the correct answer is false. So, don't forget po na ilagay po yun dito. Okay? Sige po. Okay. Now, gusto nyong magbasa. Okay? So, pwede po, mas maganda kasi may audio, di ba? Lalo na yung mga, yung para din sa reading comprehensions ng mga bata po. Pwede po tayong mag-add na, may magbasa, kagaya po nung kanina, sa general direction. Si add po natin yan. Okay. Play po natin ulit. Hub creates an extended network in which any two workstations on the linked lands can share data. Okay. So, pwede po yun. So, i-loop natin three times. Tapos gusto mo babae, ganun din po yung ano kanina, uh, steps. Yan. Same. Hub creates an extended network in which any two workstations on the linked lands can share data. Okay. Okay, so for feedback po, by, uh, by answer, okay, so kung gusto ninyong lalagyan siya or bigyan siya ng chance, actually true or false naman to, so one attempt lang talaga. So later on, sa ibang uh, types of quiz natin mamaya, malalaman ninyo, pwede kayong magbigay ng multiple attempts. Okay? Pwede din po kayo, dito po na side, pwede po kayong maglagay ng... Uh, Images or uh, video clips. Pwede. Yan. Pwede kayong mag-add ng image. Pwede din kayong mag-add ng image. Pwede kayong mag-add ng screen. Okay, pag-add po tayo ng image na na-download ko kanina resources. Okay, resources. Wala. Wala ko nga. Lagay ko lang lang kahit na ano. So, yan. Now, pwede po tayong mag-customize ng feedback. Yan. Pwede po nating dagdagan to for uh, further explanations. Okay? Basahin niya kasi yung correct. Babasahin niya po yung feedback natin. Diba pag nagre-review po tayo ng formative assessment natin, pwede po natin ilagay dito yung explanation, further explanations. Okay? So, for example. Hmm. Uh, ano nga tamang sagot dito? Sige natin dito. Same lang. I-add po natin yan dito sa baba. Paste natin yan. Tapos babasahin niya yan. Okay. Parang additional information or review na rin. Correct. Ay, wait. Hindi niya nabasa. Correct. 
network in which any two workstations on the link lands can share data. So, yan. So, parang uh, additional information na rin po sa mga susyante natin, lalo na pag nasa formative assessment natin or every uh, end of the lesson. Okay po. Now, ang points po, pag um, correct po yung response niya is one point. Okay, so naka-ano kasi ito kanina. And one attempts lang. Uh, saan po kayo magkiklik pag mag-add kayo ng another ng another uh, questions? Dito po sa baba. Add kayo ng another question dyan. So click new questions. Under pa rin po yun sa kay true or false question. So for example, ito type nyo lang po yung questions ninyo dyan. Okay. So, for example, meron ako dito another questions. Okay. Pabasa ko po sa kanya. Then, ilop ko po two times. Then, for example, the correct response is true. Then, after that, Yan, customize the feedback. Kung gusto nyo mag-customize the feedback, uh, dagdagan yung feedback ninyo, lalagyan ninyo ng additional information as a review. So, pwede po nyo ilagay dyan sa baba. Okay? Ayan. Okay. Repeater does not simply amplify the signal. It regenerates the packets and retimes them. Okay? So, yun po. Okay? So, multiple choice. Okay. Yan. So, right click po tayo again. Same lang po. New question. And then, ayan, saran. Nandiyan na po yung tanong. Yan. Ganyan po yung kanyang itsura, mga ma'am. Sige po. Sige. May nakaprepare na kasi akong tanong dito. Pag hindi na ako mahirapan, di ba? Sige. Now, okay, multiple choice, copy, sabi ko nga sa'yo, sa inyo, di ba? Pwede kayong i-prepare nyo na lang yung inyong mga tanong dyan sa inyong hard, uh, soft copy, yung mga summative examinations ninyo, formative examin assessment ninyo, ilagay nyo na lang dito. Okay? And then, okay. other choices, Okay. Add the choices first. For example, uh, switch. Second is have. Third po is bridge. Router. So, the correct response po is, okay, for example, hub. Now, kung gusto nyo ipabasa, nandiyan na din. Same lang po. Process, same process po. Yan. Twice. Twice niya pong basahin. Okay, pa play natin. It refers to a network device that is competing for attention because it takes the data that comes into a port and sends it out all the other ports. O, oh, ba? Parang ano lang... Okay, so you can also add dito sa gilid, capture screen, okay, or add, for example, walang hub, si yan, ayan. Okay, you can also, again, pwede ninyong i-customize yung inyong feedback. Si yan. So, by questions, pwede kayong maglagay ng different attempts dito. So, pwede, for example, two attempts. Okay, two attempts. Yan. So, preview natin, guys. Preview natin. Yan. Yan. It refers to a network device that is competing for attention because it takes the data that comes into a port and sends it out all the other ports. It refers to a network device that is competing for attention because it takes the data that comes into a port and sends it out all the other ports. 
Yan, twice niya po inulit. So kung gusto niya namang thrice niya ulitin, ay pwede po. Lagyan niya lang ng three times loop dito. Tama? Sige po. So again, one points po. Pwede niya namang lagyan ng two points dyan for the points of correct response. Okay, next. Gawa po tayo additional. Another uh, uh, additional po under sa multiple choice. Yan. Sige po mga ma'am, pwede kayong magpagamawa din dyan sa inyo. At least, uh, tawag dito. Um, para magsabay po tayo matatapos mamaya. So, I know na nakaprepare na kayo. May mga uh, questions kayo na prepare na po dyan. Yan. Yan. <laughs> Hindi po ako ganun kagaling magawa ng tanong. Yung mga hot questions. Pasensya na po. Tab. Um. Switch. Next pa dito kanina. A bridge. Bridge. Yan, bridge. Okay, so for example, the correct response here is switch. Oh, example lang. Kalimutan ko na. Okay. Next. Pwede nyo namang i-edit ito mamaya. Oh, i-edit, i-alter ninyo at i-publish countless times. Pwede po. Eh, nakasave na po ito. So, once na nagawa nyo na po, pwede nyo pong i-alter at i-publish at the same time. Or after that, i-publish or i-publish. Okay? So, same po. Sound. Yan po natin yung sound. Loop twice. Play. It refers to a network device that able to send data to a particular PC in a network. For example, server is able to send data to PC1. PC2 is able to send data to PC3 and PC4 is able to send data to PC5 means using a switch PC can send data to a particular PC in a network. So, yarn. Okay, you can, again, you can also customize the feedback. Pwede niyong lagyan yan. Correct. Incorrect. Yarn. Ah, okay. So, kailangan daw i-demo ko yung blank. Ngayon ko lang nakita, sir. Basta, pasensya na. Okay? Sige. Mamaya, sir. Doon sa ano, may blank kasi ako doon. Doon sa word bank. Sige po. I-demo ko po mamaya. Ayun. Next po, multiple response. Okay? Multiple response na po tayo. Again po, yung attempts kanina, sa multiple choice, hindi ko pala na ano yung attempts, no? Yung attempts po, number of attempts, pwede nyo pong i-customize yun, bibigyan nyo siya ng chance. Pag nakamali siya lang minsan, pwede nyo siyang bibigyan ng another chance. Ay, kung masyado kayong mabait, pwede nyo siyang lagyan ng 10 times. Sorry. 10 times na chance. <laughs> 3 times na chance. Diba? Wala na. Ubus na yung choices. Twice, for example. Nagbibigay po tayo ng chances. Actually, yung teacher is nagbibigay ng only chances. Okay? So, yan. Pwede nyo yung balikan. Edit. Okay. Next, dito na po tayo sa multiple response. Okay. 
Okay, multiple response questions. Mayroon, may naka I know may naka-prepare na kayo dyan na multiple response questions. So, for example, mayroon ako ditong uh, question. Yan. Pabasa ko lang din sa ka ating uh, ano, app. The following are networking devices that resides on the OSI model layer 1. Yon. Apo. So for example, we have a uh, layer 1. Pala yun. Bridge. Hub. Switch. Repeater. Ano So, for example, what is it? Ano So, for example, have a uh, bridge. Ang tamang sagot. Limutan <laughs> ko. Now, dito po, dito ka na makaka... Um, example lang naman. Uh, E-edit ko po mamaya. Okay? So, yung questions, if... Um, ano ba yung scoring natin dito? Okay? So, dapat by answer. So, so scores... By answer dapat. So, para dalawa po yung points na makakount. Pag isa lang yung natama niya, so one point lang yung counted. Okay? Pag uh, dalawa po yung tumama, two points po yung counted. Okay? So, again, pwede nyo pong i-customize yung ating feedback pa rin. So, yan. Then, after that, Click new questions po tayo. Alter ko lang po mamaya. Double check ko yung ano. Next po. Ah, isa lang. Okay, pwede po kayong magdagdag. Pwede po kayong magdagdag ng questions ninyo under multiple response. Okay. Malalaman nyo po dito sa gilid kung ilang questions na ba ang nilagay ninyo sa each type ng ating quiz. So for example, mayroon na akong nilagay na isa sa multiple response na questions. Yan. Mayroon na akong nilagay isa. So may total, mayroon na akong five questions. Okay. At mayroon na akong 6 points. Diyan, si gilid. Yan. Next, dito. Next po, fill in the blanks po tayo. Fill in the blank. Fill in the blank. So, same. Fill in the blank. So, yan. So, yan. Pabasa ko po mamaya. Babasahin po natin. The 
the underscore 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 again again ko yung sinasabi ni sir karina that will allow you to share a single ip address among multiple network clients yon the blank underscore so dapat ang ilagay ninyo diyan is pabasa niyo muna ang blank so the blank Pabasa nyo sa kanya ulit. The blank are the only one of these four devices that will allow you to share a single IP address among multiple network clients. Yan. So, twice natin ilulup. So, after that, balikan nyo na lang po to at lalagyan ng blank. Wag nyo na pong i-record ulit. Okay po. Yan. So, meron akong, dito naman, pwede kang, di ba, for example, may specific answer ka, router, or uppercase na router. Pwede po. Then, by questions, scoring, okay, pwede kang, uh, by questions, or by answer. Answer. So, or since one point lang bibigay natin dyan, so by answer. So, same lang naman. So, it's either uh, yung uppercase or pwedeng uh, ganito. Mga pa many possible answers. Uh, diba? Yan po. So, pwede kayong mag maggawa, pwede kayong gumawa dyan ng tanong ninyo mismo under po sa uh, Fill in the blanks. Tapos na dahil. Next po, matching type. Ito mo sa matching type, masaya. Okay, sa matching type po tayo. Ang tanong ko dito. <laughs> okay, sa matching type po, walang oyas ay. Ang matching type po, for example, match the mo, uh, layer. Okay, OSI layer. Okay, so ilagay ninyo yung tamang sagot. Siya na yung mismo, yung applications na po mismo magre-reshuffle nun. For example, router is nasa uh, OSI layer 3. The uh, switch po is nasa OSI layer and switch. Actually, magaganda, mas maganda to pag sa mga bata. ba? Sa mga topic naming mga network, 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 network. Maganda din naman minsan. Pero sa mga bata po talaga, elementary, nakaka-ano po to, nakaka-boost o nakaka-ano po ng kanila, nakaka-magandang motivations po pag yung uh, assessment po mo ay nasa uh, Wonder Shark with Creator kasi napaka-interactive. Ang mga sudyante ko po nagsasabi pag ginagamit ko po yung Wonder Shark Quiz Creator is uh, gusto na mag-take two. Saka naka nakaka-excite pag dagdagan mo po ng madaming uh, uh, emoji, di ba? Para nakaka-excite. Tama ba? Corresponding OSI layer. Okay.
match the following network hardware to its corresponding OSI layer. Yeah. Customize, pwede din po. Customize. Ayan po. Okay, so dito, questions. Uh, scoring is by answer. Bakit by answer po? Para at least, pag hindi naman, kasi by kung by a question, one point na yan sila, one point lang to lahat. So dapat, pag nag-match yung isa, may one point siya. Di ba ganun din pag written? Okay, so dapat, yung scoring po natin is by answer. Okay, so... Sa isang questions, uh, sa isang questions mo, kung mayroon kang sampung o sampo o lima, mayroon siyang five points kaagad. Ama? Sige po, try po ninyo dyan. Additional po tayo. Another, at least tatlong pong uh, questions under, under po sa... Sige po, bibigyan ko po kayo. Uh, bibigyan ko po kayo ng time para Ah, okay. So pa-preview ko po after. Sige. Sige po. Preview ko po lahat. Yan. Yan. Start. The blank are the only one of these four devices that will allow you to share a single IP address among multiple network clients. Okay, so while the are the only one of these four devices that will allow you to share a single IP address among multiple network clients. Yan. Kanina nakalagay ako ng timer kanina doon. Naka 10 minutes po tayo naka set up. So nakikita niyo po yung timer sa taas. Okay, nakikita niyo po yung timer. Hello po. Nakikita niyo po yung timer sa taas. Yan. Uh, ano po, uh, tumatakbo po. So again, so sagutan po natin, review lang natin. Submit. Correct. Yan. It refers to a network device that able to send data to a particular PC in a network. For example, server is able to send data to PC1. PC2 is able to send data to PC3 and PC4 is able to send data to PC5 means using a switch PC can send data to a particular PC in a network. <laughs> It refers to a network device that able to send data to a particular PC in a network. For example, server is able to send data to PC1. Okay, PC so for example. Correct. Yan. Creates an extended network and diba, 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 any two on the linked lands can share data. Hub creates an extended network in which any two workstations on the linked lands can share data. False, for example. Correct. Yon. The following are networking devices that resides on the OSI model layer one. Hello. The following, for example, hub and bridge. Correct. Yon. It refers to a network device that is competing for attention because it takes the data that comes into a port and sends it out all the other ports. It refers to a network device that is competing for attention because it takes the data that comes into a port and sends it out all the other ports. Uh, for example, um, correct. Match the following network. Ito po yung result po ng ating matching here. type. Result po to ng ating matching type. So for example, hindi ko na maalala. <laughs> okay. Wala na si Batman. Okay. Correct. Okay. So, yan. Repeater does not simply amplify the signal. It regenerates the packets and retimes them. Repeater does not simply amplify the signal. It regenerates the packets and retimes them. Yan. For example, two po. Correct. Congratulations. You passed. Oh, ganyan po yung uh, pag itiview po natin. Sige po. Dagdagan po natin additional Okay, hanggang matching type pa lang po tayo kanina. So, magdagdag tayo ng another questions under sa matching type, for example. 
Meron pa ba akong pang matching kahit? <laughs> Yan, meron pa. So, for example, uh, another questions. Matching type. Yan. Yan. Pabasa po natin. Sound. Then click. Then twice. Look po natin twice. Let's see that. Match the classes of IP address to its corresponding subnet mask. Yan. Yung paglalagay po natin, yung paglalagay po natin, dapat nakamatch niya. Para siya na po yung mag-reshuffle. Kagaya po ng sinabi ko kanina. Okay. So, for example, Class A. So, ito yung kanyang subnet mask. Class B. Ito yung kanyang subnet mask. Sige po, sabayan niyo po ako dyan sa inyo. Activity po ninyo. Class C. Yan. So again, by answer po tayo. By answer para 3 points kaagad pag tama sa lahat. Okay? Then, yan. Pwede po nating i- Pabasa yung kanyang ating response. Correct. Incorrect. Yan. Okay. Click. Okay. So, mayroon na tayong dalawa. May, may dalawa na po tayong tanong. Under po sa sa matching type. Kaway-kaway po sa mga kaway-kaway po sa mga nanonood dyan sa Region 12. Okay. Hindi ko lang. Ah, medyo hindi po ako pang DJ talaga. Hindi po ako kagaya ni Sir Dale na pang DJ yung boses or kagaya ni Sir Mads na pang DJ ang boses. Tama po. Okay? So, tapos na po tayo. Sige. Mag-proceed po tayo sa sequence. Okay? Sequence. Type ng quiz po na naka-sequence. Sige. Sequence. So, for example, given... Ganito. Ito yung tanong ko. Alin, tagal ko na itong tanong. Itong, itong tanong na ito, ito yung tanong na pinagawa din sa amin noon ni Sir Mark. Okay po. Yan. Given the range of IP address of each class arranged from lowest to highest number of hosts. Arrange the following. Manik man. Given the number of... Arrange the following. Parang, parang long grammar ring. Given the range of an IP address. Ayan. Sige. Nakakorrect order na po dito. Ilagay niyo po dito. Clarify ko lang. Yung nakakorrect order na po. Okay. Correct order dapat. So, yung applications na po mismo... Yung mag, uh, ano sa kanya, mag-reshuffle. Pag i-preview po natin ma mamaya, makikita niyo po yun. Yan, for example. Order 1, order 2, order 3. Ewan ko din. Tama ba ito? Basta ang ilalagay niyo dito is the correct order. Okay? Correct order na po. Yan. Ah, tama. Highest to lowest number of us. Okay? Okay. Yan. 
Of course, sequence pa rin tayo. Ah, ito. Sige, sequence. So, pwedeng, ah, uh, yan. So, yan. So, isang sequence po. So, pwede kayong magdagdag dyan ng another sequence po ninyo. Okay? Meron po tayong isang tanong under sequence po. So, another question po under sa sequence. For example, another question. Arrange the following. Arrange the following in making the network connection. Arrange the step in making network connections. Yan. So, lagay yung steps, proper steps. Tapos, i-preview ko po after nito, i-preview ko po kung ano yung bakit yung iba kasi medyo nalilito, paano gawin, uh, paano siya i-arrange. Cream test. Ayan po. Okay, click okay. So, preview ko po. Ay, dapat dito lang. Ayan, nag-start po tayo ulit. Dito lang po tayo mag-preview. Sige. Preview po tayo dito sa gilid. Pwede ka po mag-preview dito sa gilid. Yan. Given the range of IP address of each class, a range from lowest to highest number of hosts. <laughs> Example. Yan. I-drag up nyo lang po. Drag up. Correct. Congratulations. You passed. Given the range of IP address. Yan, pwede niyo rin pong i-preview. Ay, pwede rin yung correct. customizing feedback. Yan. Yan. For questions ko po i-preview. Sige po. Preview per questions. Pwede po, right-click preview lang po. Yan. Arrange the step in making network connections. Ayan. Ayan, preview. Limutan ko na yung first step. Arrange. For example, ito. Alam po talaga last. Ayan. Last talaga yung test. Arrange, uh, check, cream po. Ayan. Okay, check. Arrange wires. Tama ba? Ayan, try natin. Submit. Incorrect. Mali. <laughs> So, Ayan. You failed. Ayan po. Okay na po. Sige po. Uh, last po, uh, proceed po tayo sa Word Bank. Questions under Word Bank po. Word Bank. Okay. So again, may dalawa po tayong blank dito. Word Bank. Yan. 
Yan. So, same, pabasa pa rin po natin. There are two types of IP address. First is the underscore, 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 which means staying the same. And the second is underscore, 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 means constantly changing. So again, ulitin po natin yung kanina. Pag ganun po yung binigay, so papalitan lang po natin ng blank. Blank. Now a word. Blank na word. Yan. Then, pabasa po natin ulit. There are two types of IP address. First is the blank, which means staying the same, and the second is blank, means constantly changing. Yarn. So after na po na basa, palitan na po natin nung uh, blank. So we have choices. Lagay ng choices dito. Okay, after that, click okay po. That's why the answer. Okay. Wait lang, wait lang. Answer number one. Answer number two. Question. So, so dito sa blank, ilagay po ninyo kung ano yung tamang sagot. So for the first blank, Ito po dapat ang sagot. Okay, nilagyan ko. Now, pwede pong uh, mag-reshuffle po yan sila. Okay, sige po. So, attempts. Ganon din po. We have number of attempts. So, can give number of attempts also. Next. Now, for, uh, for multiple choice po, pwede po tayong mag-add. Pwede po tayong mag-add ng what? ng images po. Nakalimutan ko po kanina, under multiple choice po, i-review ko lang, pwede tayo mag-add ng images dito. Or, syempre, para po doon sa mga teacher po na nagtuturo ng elementary, lalo na po nag, nag uh, tawag dito, yung uh, part of the, uh, tawag dito, uh, part of uh, five, sen uh, five senses natin, ba? Yung mga ganun. Ba? Sa elementary po yun. So, pwede po tayong mag-add ng images. So, actually, na, hindi na ako nakakuha ng mga pang questions na pang elementary. Pero, uh, dito naman, ilalagay ko lang kung paano mag-add. For example, mag-add ka ng, instead of text, ang ilalagay mo dito sa choices, pwede kang mag-add ng images. Okay? So, for example, uh, click on the choices, add, uh, for example, text dito. So, you can add images and text at the same time as your um, choices. Okay? So, paano po yan? Click the image po. Hi, uh, click the the choices. Click the choices. Then, after that, add image. You can use the import image. Kung may na-download ka na dyan. So, wala na ako na-download. Dito tayo sa router, for example. Okay? Add image. Import image. Then, if you have this one, router. Then, for example, wala akong bridge, so kukuha na lang ako doon sa internet ng ano. Okay. So, kukuha na lang ako doon sa net. Senior ako. Okay. Hindi ko na makita. <laughs> Yan. So, for example, um... Network hardware. So, anong ganing choices natin kanina? Sa mga teachers po dyan, sa elementary, pwede nyo pong gawin to. Okay. Edit. So, have, for example. So, have. Hata yung teachers ng have dyan. Network hub. Yan. So, kung ayaw, images. Pili lang kayo dyan. So, click the Image, click po ninyo yung image, image na side, then capture, then capture po ninyo yung image na gusto ninyong ilagay doon. 
Yan. Yan. So, nandyan na po yung image. Preview po natin. It refers to a network device that able to send data to a particular PC Yan. in a network. For example, server is able to send data to PC1. PC2 is able to send data to PC3. Isa. And PC4 is able to send data to PC5. Means using a switch PC can send data to a particular PC in a network. It yeah. refers to a network device that able to send data to a particular PC in a network where it can so rest. Ayan. Congratulations. Next. So, pwede po kayong mag-add another. Okay, sa switch. So, pwede rin yung i-add lang ninyo yung image, import image, since may na-download na kayo, for example, kung router ba yan, or switch. Okay, so for example, switch. Type natin dito, switch. Yeah. Try lang natin. For choices. So, pwede po. Screen capture lang po tayo. Or capture screen. Okay? Capture screen. Yan. So, yan. So, router. Pwede add. Import image. Import image po. Okay? For example, ito. So, grid, for example, import image again. If mayroon tayo. Kung wala, pwede po kayong uh, review po. Yan. May mga images na po tayong nandyan. Next po, yes, save changes, yes. Dito po tayo sa kabila. Try po natin kung GIF. Alam niyo mag-GIF file po natin. Try natin, add image. Add lang po tayo, image. Then import. Try natin kung gagana sa pag-GIF po. Okay? Yung ilalagay natin. Resources. Yeah. Wala, try lang po natin. Yan. Review po natin. It refers to a network device that is competing for attention okay. because it takes the data that comes into a port and sends it out all the other ports. It refers to a network device that is competing for attention because it takes the data that comes into a port and sends it out all the other ports. Yan. Try natin yung iba. Image kasi. Okay? So, pwede possible po tayong mag-add ng images sa choices. Okay? So, pwede yung uh, image po lahat ng choices. Pwede din po. Okay. Sa matching type, pwede din po. Okay? Pwede yung images. Diba? Images to, kung mag, uh, ano kayo ng choices na imamatch yung uh, both na tawag dito, na image. Uh, proceed po tayo sa what? click map. Click map po tayo. Proceed. Siguro uh, balik po tayo kanina doon sa word bank. Kasi hindi po natin yun na-preview. Sige po. Balik po tayo sa Word Bank. Preview po natin yung Word Bank. Pwede po tayong right-click then preview na lang. Ayan. So yung itsura. Ayan. So nag-1 and 2 ka, silagay mo kanina doon yung answer for 1. So for example, for the first question, 
So, first class ones, yes. Ang sagot natin dyan, ilagay natin is static IP address. Then, the second is dynamic IP address. Submit. Okay. Congratulations. Yan. Now, tignan po natin, i-edit po natin yung ating uh, class ones. Okay. So, ito po, yung uh, choices po natin. So, kung anong answer po dyan, number one, ilang blank ka po, so, dapat magmamatch po sila. So, uh, first answer, the first blank is, for example, static. The second answer for the second blank is dynamic. So, po yun. Yun po. So, pwede po kayong gumawa. Subukan niyo pong gumawa dyan sa inyong uh, mga sariling uh, computer. So, pwede po kayong gumawa kahit na tatlo, tatlo tatlong uh, word bank questions po. Para example lang po. Next po is a click map. Okay, click map po tayo. Yeah. New questions? Sige, tanong ko kanina ito. Yan. Hindi kasi hindi tayo naka-prepare. Yan. So Yan. Read po natin. Given the different types computer network, click the local area network. Ito. Given the Given the different types of computer network, Click the, yan. So, import po natin yung image. Import image. For, for example, nasa resources ko po siya, topic. So, for example, ito po siya. Yan. Pwede po natin palakihin yan, i-zoom. Pwede po, zoom, zoom in, zoom out. Palakihin ko po. Yan. Pwede po natin i-zoom to. Yan. Dito sa baba, pwede po natin i-zoom in or zoom out. Zoom in. Zoom na po eh. Next. Maglalagay po tayo ng spot. Maganda po itong tanong pag nagpapa, ano ka ng particular na magpapaturo ka. Saan ba dyan ang menu bar? Saan ba dyan ang title bar? Di ba sa mga IT subject natin, lalo na pag grade 8, grade 7, nagpapa-point tayo kung, di ba, pointing ng different part. Okay. Sa so, science din, okay, pag nagpapa-point tayo kung saan ba dyan yung mga different types of bones, muscles, and so on. Alam, uh, maraming mga, maraming magagandang tanong sa ating mga subjects na pwede po natin i-integrate ito. Okay. Now, lalagay po tayo, maglalagay po tayo ng point of uh, or hotspot natin. Hotspot. So, lalagay tayo ng hotspot. For example, LAN. Lagay natin dito, hotspot. Pwede kang pumili ka nung gusto mo hotspot yung lagay mo dyan. So, basta magpo-point lang po Okay? Yan. Pag itinuro niya po yan as the answer, okay, so, mayroon tayong hotspot 1. So, mayroon na siyang correct response. Hotspot 1. Yan. So, kayo po, kung gusto niyo maraming... Uh, ano dyan? Okay. Yan. Mayroon na po akong isang hotspot. So, preview ko po. Given the different types of computer network, click the local area network. Given okay. The different types of computer network, so, for example, the yan. Yan po. We submit. Incorrect. Yan. Sorry. You failed. Try po natin ang correct response. Preview. Given the different types of computer network, click the local area network. 
example. Given the different types of computer network, correct. Yan. Congratulations. You have. Ayan po. So, pwede po kayong gumawa another uh, dalawa or kahit na dalawa po or tatlo para tatlo-tatlo po tatlong um, questions under po sa quiz map. So, for publishing, so, don't worry po, pwede tayong mag-publish multiple times, di ba? Pag, ay, may nakita, ko, may nakita kang mali, pwede kang, pwede mong i-republish yun. Okay? Pwede mong i-edit. Okay? So, dito sa side, after po ng preview, pwede po kayong mag, dyan po yung button for publish. Click that publish button. Okay. Then, meron po tayong options dyan. Avoid clicking other tools as meant only for the learning LMS. Okay? So, dito, pwede publish online. So, may clarifications po kami mamaya pag online. Ay, pwede po tayo kasi nga LA, naka, 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 na, na, nasa panahon po tayo na pwede uh, naka, na, di ba? Mas prefer ng ibang na, ma, mother na mag-homeschool na lang po yung mga anak natin. Pwede po tayo mag-publish online. Okay? But for now, sa activity po natin, sa web, pwede din. Okay, LMS, CDNXC, of course, hindi po. Sa Word and Excel, uh, di ba, for printing purposes po yan, nandiyan na. So, ang sa atin po, if you publish po natin siya using web. Yan. Web. Okay? Web po yung pipiliin natin. Next, you can change the title and pwede mo rin pong uh, yung directory po. Nandiyan. So, yun. You can change this one. Yung directory po din po, pwede. Pwede nyo palitan yung directory or kung pwede as is na lang yung directory. Basta alam nyo kung saan na si save yung uh, i-publish ninyo na quiz. Tama? Then after that, click the publish button. Okay? So akin ang sa akin nasa my quiz ko, documents, my quiz, then project. Pangalan po niya ay network hardware. Then click publish. Yan, madali lang po talagang mag-publish. Yes. Then choose whether you want to view the quiz activity or opening the folder. Okay. Pwede po nating open the folder. Okay. Open the folder. Yan. Next, view po natin. Right click. Open. Ayan. Adobe Flash po. Then click. Okay. Start. The blank are the hey, only one of back. these four devices that will allow you to share a single IP address among multiple network clients. The blank are the only one of these four devices that will allow you to share a single IP address among multiple network clients. Yeah. So for example, uh, type mo natin. Match the classes of IP address to its corresponding subnet mask. Match the classes of IP address to its corresponding subnet mask. Correct. Match the following network hardware to its corresponding OS dot layer. And ganyan po. Incorrect. The following are networking devices that resides on the OSI model layer one. Incorrect. It refers to a network device that is competing for attention because it takes the data that comes into a port and sends it out all the other ports. Correct. Given the range of IP address of each class arranged from the number of hosts. 
uh, arrange or yung sec sequence po. Okay, so... Correct. It refers to a network device that able to send data to a particular PC in a network, for example, server is able to send data to PC1. PC2 is able to send data to PC3 and PC4 is able to send data to PC5 means using a switch PC can send data to a particular PC in a net correct. Given the different types computer Man. network click the local area network. Given the different types computer network click the local area So ilan ba? Dalawa yata yung ginagawa ko dito. Yan. Dalawang points kasi yung ginagawa ko doon kanina. Dalawang hotspot. Repeater does not simply amplify the signal. It regenerates the packets and retimes to correct. Have create an extended network in which any two workstations on the network can share. Correct. Arrange the step in making network connections. Yeah. Drag down lang po. Try natin. Incorrect. <laughs> Click the eyes. Correct. There are two types of IP address. First is the blank, which means staying the same, and the second is blank, means constantly changing. Correct. Congratulations. You passed. So, yan po. Yan po yung output natin. For publishing. Okay, pagkatapos po natin i-publish. Pwede po natin i-review. One of these four devices that will allow you to share match the classes of IP match the box the following are net given yeah. first to a net given the Pwede po na nang mata i-review afterwards. So makikita niya kung saan sa nagkamali. 